Hello, I'm Vinny. Hello, I'm Oscar. You probably don't know Satchel Paige. After all, he is one of the unsungest of heroes. But if you do, you may know the total effect he had on the R&D. But let's start off when Satchel was a child. Satchel was born in 1906 to a very poor family in Mobile, Alabama. When he was 12, Satchel got a job at the local railroad carrying people's bags on the train. After stealing rings off a satchel tree, he was sent to a reformatory school. And that's where he got a chance to start playing baseball. His coach, Tom O'Neill, saw his potential and was quoted saying that his arm would be the tool that brought him fame and fortune. Satchel's early career in the Negro Leagues was started with the Chattanooga Black Lookouts in 1926, and it was no secret that he was easily the best. In 1939, Satchel was traded to the Kansas City Monarchs. With them, he won four straight league pennants. If a team needed to get more fans, then they would announce that Satchel Page would be pitching and he would pitch. In fact, Satchel started playing so well, he played in the MLB for the Indians. To truly see how good Satchel was, his owner, Bill Veck, put a cigarette on the ground as a mini home plate. Satchel threw five pitches and only one didn't fr fly directly over the cigarette. Satchel got the job. Satchel's age was always shrouded in mystery, but on July 9th, 1948, Page arrived in the majors as the oldest rookie ever. In senior, Satchel went 6-1 and one as his record. He had a 2.48 ERA, or a run, and he helped the Cleveland Indians win a World Series. In 1951, Veek and Satchel reunited on the St. Louis Browns. Satchel got to the MLB All-Star Game in 1952 and 1953. When Satchel was 59, he pitched his last game in 1965. He pitched a three-inning shutout for the Kansas City Athletics, and he was the oldest player to pitch in, it in baseball history. In 1971, on what he called the happiest day of his life, Satchel got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Satchel was one of the greatest pitchers to ever throw a baseball. Satchel's skill made him loved by the Cleveland fans. He was a great entertainer for any fan willing to watch. His teammates and staff were so confident in Satchel that they had sales where if Satchel didn't strike out 17 batters, the whole crowd would get their money back. Nowadays, it's widely considered for a pitcher to have a great game if he strike out 10 batters. And Satchel would have a bad day if he strikes out below 17 batters. That's how incredible Page was. His contribution to the MLB opened a gateway that allowed African Americans to reach great fame and fortune in the MLB. On February 9, 1971, Commissioner Bowie Cohen announced that Satchel